Uh, welcome guys to another Substance and tutorial. Today we're gonna see how to create uh, this type of tile. Uh, this is a plastic vinyl tile. Uh, it's a little uh, dust and old. As you see. Uh, is shine with some dusk areas. So let's get started. <coughs> and as you see, the the graph is quite simple. You can enhance it more with this basic. First, we're gonna create the shape of the tile. We're gonna use a polygon one. Let me reset to the the foul uh, pattern. Remember, in the output size, click in any empty space of the your graph. You can set with the relative to parent or absolute. I'm working relative to parent and reset to the the foul size. Change the resolution a little, but it's better for performance. Meanwhile, you construct your graph. Okay, first we're gonna use the polygon one node with size six. Then apply a transformation to the node. Rotate in 90 degrees to make this shape. Then a, a gradient linear two. Apply transformation to the node. Rotate 90 degrees. And these two uh, blend in multiply mode. Okay, opacity one, and you must be have this shape, this uh, square uh, gradient. Then you will uh, blend in multiply mode, the gradient up, and uh, this shape in multiply mode, 0 0.5. And you must be have this node. This allows to create a, give us this pumping uh, effect to the tiles. Then we're gonna create first a tile generator with this. We're gonna create this. We're gonna use six number X and the number A is six. Then we're gonna move the intersect x minus 0 0.28 and this another minus 0 0.1. Okay, this allows to give us this strike uh, fit lines between the tiles. Then you must be put uh, vertical offset true because if you put uh, false, in, the, the tile is broken. Uh, this must be go true. Vertical offset true. Global offset 0 0.09, 0 0.09. Okay. And then you gonna make a copy of this. Control D duplicate. And you must be have you will tweak this to have this. I tell you how. Let the preset as before, and then you gonna use the uh, here is the. Let me see horizontal mask true vertical mask true. You, here you put this and you have this tile okay but this tile you will use not uh, this input not this this shape you fit this uh, tile generator okay as you see here we construct this okay I'm gonna use delete 
we have here then uh, another control D duplicate another this node and you must be have this you fit uh, the same with this uh, shape fit this tile generator and here you tweak the here luminization variation contrast I have in 0 0.17 ok this tile tail generator allows to create our, our graph remember this and this this is only for the normal and for this another ok this node is a levels what what I do here I take this this uh, tile put a levels node to get rid of the dark areas and have this pattern ok now we are gonna grab this node uh, the luminization variation and fit in the gradient map this gradient map uh, have a variation of whites uh, this is uh, more gray more white yellow and another type of gray use, you can use more uh, colors but this is used for give this variation in the colors as you see here let me make more uh, big you see this variation of the colors then we are gonna blend in with a solid color to give this color of the tiles I use use this color you can use uh, whatever color you like and for the opacity you are gonna grab this second tile and apply on invert grayscale and this is for the opacity ok this is in blending mode copy then you have another invert grayscale this time you fit with this tile with this node fit here with grayscale and you use for for the foreground color this grayscale is for the color between the tiles ok then another blending node the same gray here color this time we are gonna create this uh, normal but we we have here a uh, edge damage let's create this normal the normal create with this with the bumping uh, tile Gra grab a uh, ambient occlusion and normal node ok I open here intensity 3 for the normal node and this is the ambient occlusion once you have these two you grab this node is is edge damage you search here edges edge per, sorry edge and here this node edge damage you grab and this node uh, use a uh, let me put the info display if the uh, info or the inputs don't display just click here and here is the option display connection name this uh, node use a curvature ambient occlusion you mask uh, mask so we have here a uh, curvature just search here curvature grab this node and this node uh, is fit with a normal map this normal map will fit this and here we have ambient occlusion just put here and for the mask, for the opacity, you grab the same node here. 
tweak these values as you wish. I have the 0 0.88 and the damage intensity 0 0.24. Okay, and I have this uh, this pattern. This is the damage for our tiles. Let me put a better resolution to see better. I'm going to put two, two. And as you see, we have this uh, damage just a little. We have give us this this uh, damage between the tiles. You can put more in or more intensity. Uh, this is as you wish. You can see this is uh, too much. Use down and you can play with these values. Okay, so when you have uh, this note, uh, this note you have the output and now fit in this in this section these two this node we fit these two nodes remember is this is for the color between the lines also we have fit the same for the damage pattern we fit here and you must be have this texture now we're gonna have a, a gra another gradient map. We put a sample of variation of gray. This is for the there. Uh, this is for the here. This is for the roughness. So the roughness uh, is created by B and W S put two. Then we're gonna use a histogram scan. The histogram scan allows us to to manage how many noise we can put in the output. As you see, I tweak the position, and the histogram scan allow me to to master the the level of the of the noise. This blending with the white color. A normal color blending in multiply multiply sorry and for the opacity grab this this note this note come from this from the pumped uh, tile okay and you must be have this graph this note sorry as you see the white areas are roughness and the black are more shining. This is give us this this effect as you see here in the three D view. So then you have uh, grab this output and now fit here in the gradient map for the for the dust. Fit in here with the before note. The opacity. You grab this. This is a, a, a dirt. Dirt is created by the curvature map. First, you search this node, dirt, and grab this node, this drag. And this node uh, need a curvature map and an occlusion in mask mask opacity. So the same, grab a curvature, open GR, intensity 1, curvature and the ambient occlusion, spreading 0 0.15, low frequency 0 0.23, and that. And these two fit this node and the opacity, this node. Again, this node is fitting this opacity. So this is the 
dirt for our tile. This is used for the uh, opacity in this node. And this is the final albedo of base color map. So now the normal we leave here in the edges damage, then apply an invert gray scale to have these uh, black spots. Apply a normal intensity tree, open GL in my case. If you are uh, you can use direct X or open GL as this uh, for you need a blending with this this is a normal combine and this is allows us to combine this damage with the tiler with the tile uh, normal you see I'm blending here and now he we have the damage on the tiles and this is the normal map final okay uh, and now the roughness we leave here this node you have now blending with this another node here is the, dam uh, the dirt Grab blending here in the with the before node and the opacity another this style another it's the same okay here as you see the dark areas are more shining and the white areas are more uh, roughness. This gives us this effect on our tiles. If you want more, more shining, you can tweak this value. As you see, we're gonna make this more dark, some more shining. This node allows us to make or master this effect so. then uh, we have the here and then the last node we're gonna blend in with a uh, invert grayscale from this node again invert and grayscale and blending in for like for uh, for a ground color and the opacity with the uh, before node and this is the final row okay and for metallic just uh, uh, black stripe color because this is not metallic so this is the the substance for the tutorial today as you see is is quite simple you can enhance this more I hope you you doing that if you make a better version of this please uh, share with us to see your, your, your work your rawness okay Uh, that is all folks I uh, hope you like the, this tutorial if you have any question comments please leave us in the section below in the comments if you want to see more tutorials or any tutorial in a, in a specific please uh, let us know and see you in the next time please comment share and subscribe see you in the next time bye